Okay folks, welcome back to MoGraphLess.com. In this lesson, we want to talk about depth of field in Maxwell Render. Now, depth of field is basically the depth of the area in the render that will be in focus. So, for example, in this render, you can see these spheres that are closer to our camera are in focus. And as we move away from the camera, our spheres becoming more and more out of focus and blurrier. So we have two type of depth of field. We have narrow depth of field and wide depth of field. Narrow depth of field is when a very small portion of our image is in focus and uh, the depth of field effect is much more obvious. And we have wide depth of field, for example, something like this image sort of, uh, where a larger portion of our image is in focus uh, and a smaller portion is out of focus. Now, if you take a look at this uh, render here, you can see these spheres are in focus. And as we move away from the camera, they, they get out of focus. If you take a look at this scene, as you can see, I have these spheres and I have this camera here. And if I get back to my camera, you can see focus distance of my camera is right on these spheres here. If you take a look here. And also the size of these spheres are, you know, if you take a look at their radius is 10, 20, uh, centimeters all of them are 10 but I have this uh, random effector applied to my cloner so they have randomized size so that's why they are you know 10 5 uh, 15 20 that's the size of our spheres and the result of our render with f-stop of 5.6 is this now the first thing I want to discuss is scene scale let me go ahead and I scale down my scene 10 times. So I'm going to my edit and go to my scale project and let's uh, convert 10 to one. Remember this picture here, I'm going to hit okay. And obviously I'm going to get back to the beginning of my timeline and hit play so my dynamic simulation can run. There we go. And now these spheres are much more smaller. As you can see now, they are one centimeters. Okay, now let's render this scene that is 10 times smaller than this render here and see what we are gonna get. I'm just going to refresh my fire and see the result. So I let it go for a few seconds and even though it's still noisy, but you get the idea here. As you can see, when we scaled down our scene, now we have a narrower depth of field and the, the depth of field effect is uh, much more obvious. Uh, as you can see now, just this very small portion, these few spheres are in focus and we have these very, very blurry spheres as we move away from the camera. So the smaller your scene gets, the narrower your depth of field is gonna be and uh, if you increase your scene scale, you're going to get wider depth of field effect. So that's the effect of scene scale. I'm just going to my scale project and let's this time increase our scene scale 10 times. So we are back to where we were. Let me hit play here. Okay. There we go. Now our spheres are the same 10 centimeter that we had before. At the moment, as you can see, the focus of our render is in here, but what if I wanted to focus on these uh, back spheres? So very simply, you can select your camera here and let me just change my, let's get to maybe these back spheres here and let's render and refresh our fire and see what we're gonna get this time. So I let it render for a few seconds and even though the depth of field is very wide, it's kind of hard to see and notice it. But as you can see, these spheres in here are uh, out of focus and blurry and these back spheres are in focus and sharp because we simply changed our focus distance to here. So right about here. So that's another uh, important parameter. Let me just get back and change my focus distance again to this sphere and let me refresh the fire. Now the next deciding parameter is f-stop. By decreasing your f-stop you are basically making your depth of field narrower and by increasing it you are making your depth of field wider. So if I wanted to change this depth of field that we have right now, as you can see the back sphere are getting a bit blurry. If I wanted to make them really blurry I can simply 
decrease my f-stop and because I have my lock exposure to EV parameter checked we are not gonna actually changing our exposure we are just affecting our depth of field so let me reduce this f-stop value to something very very low like one and see what we're gonna get So as you can see by decreasing our f-stop now we have this very very narrow depth of field and as you can see these spheres are clearly in focus and uh, as we move away we get these very blurry spheres. So that's another very important parameter in your uh, depth of field. Also your focal length has a very uh, important uh, basically effect on your depth of field. At the moment we have a normal focal length of 36 millimeter but I have two other cameras. One is a very uh, sort of telephoto and as you can see it has a 150 millimeter lens and another one is very wide. It's about a 15 millimeter lens and the uh, wider your lens uh, the wider also your depth of field gets and the more you increase your uh, focal lengths and you're basically making your field of view much more uh, smaller and you're using a telephoto lens in this case you're gonna get a, a narrower a depth of field so let me just stop this render here and let me get to this uh, 150 millimeter camera and let me just hide my first camera here and as you can see this is our camera and our focus distance is you know uh, almost here again and let's render this and see what we are gonna get. Let me just refresh the fire and see the result. So as you can see we have this narrow depth of field with this telephoto lens. Now let me stop this and I have this very wide lens here on this camera. Let me just look through it and this is the camera that we are having and focus distance as you can see is right around here. Let's uh, just refresh the fire and see what's going to happen this time. Now that we are using this very wide lens as you can see depth of field effect is much more wider than we were using this telephoto lens. So we basically talked about scene scale, uh, focus distance, your f-stop and focal length. These four uh, parameters are basically having effect on your uh, depth of field and always look out for them. So that's about depth of field and in our next lesson we will be talking about motion blur effect. So see you there. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. It was a free sample from our comprehensive introduction to Maxwell Render for Cinema 4D course. Make sure to visit our website mographlus.com and check the entire course out.